welcome back to the Gorilla Biker. Today what we're going to be reviewing is this Cardo Pack Talk Bold unit. Um, I do have the non-JBL speakers in my helmet, but it doesn't actually make a difference to the unit itself. I have had this since 2018, I bought it at Motorcycle Live, so it is a long term, pretty in-depth review. I've had this in all weather conditions and given it a good bit of, review, of abuse. So without further ado, we'll jump to uh, the desk and go through this. And that is Webb playing behind me. Link in the description. So here we are. Um, this is the Cardo Pack Talk Bold non JBL, like I said. So to begin with, the actual comms on this are really, really, really good. Um, obviously, the mesh intercom is exceptional. Uh, genuinely, it's absolutely brilliant. Has never let me down. Sometimes can take a few seconds to connect, but other than that, it's pretty good. The Bluetooth um, connectivity with this is. It's very good as well, but just not as flexible as the mesh intercom. It does seem to eat up the battery a little bit more. Um, just to show you real quick on the app for this. So this is kind of what you get on the app. You have your quick access, which you can configure yourself, your phone, which I won't go into because it'll show my call history, and your intercom. So this is where you can set up your mesh, your DMC, um, or also your Bluetooth which obviously is just switching to Bluetooth mode. And I have used this before with Lucky Luke rides and it worked really well. I'll just swap back. Rider A is actually Lucky Luke. So you have to delete that and you can set up your profiles. Other than that, you also have FM radio, which is just FM radio. Music, which you, this just plays random crap. I use this through Spotify, it works really well with Spotify. And then you just have your general settings. The app is actually very, very good, very simple and straightforward. So overall, the comms section of this, this unit is absolutely incredible. I, I have no complaints about the communications aspect of it, including phone calls. Phone calls are really, really good uh, on it too. And then I suppose a part of communication which isn't really communications is the uh, audio quality. So I, like I said, I don't have the JBL version, but even the standard version, the music is really good, really clear, and sound is nice and crisp. The actual auto um, volume works really well too, but I'll get to that later. So the battery, um, the battery is one thing that on this actually impressed me because it did exactly what it said on the tin. You get around about 12 plus hours out of mesh intercom and it's quoted at 15 hours, so that's really, really good. The music is one thing, this only does about five hours for me on Bluetooth music, which isn't really long enough if you're going doing a full day traveling somewhere so like up and down from Dublin and um, when I go to Franklin this does not last a full day if I was just listening to music which is obviously a nice to have on the motorway. While on radio I can't say I've ever had an issue and um, it's never died for me I've never used radio that long I think the longest I've ever used it was about two hours and um, so yeah I can't really say but I know if it was comparable to the Bluetooth music and um, it should have been more dead than it was. And calls, obviously calls, different beast. Um, never been on one long enough to tell, but it's also never died to me while on a call. And judging from the actual battery usage while on calls, it's very, very small. The durability of the unit is, and I don't like to throw this word around, but it's exceptional. I've had this since 2000, late 2018. Uh, it's on my helmet every single day through all weather you can see there's a few little scuff marks here from my gloves, I would say, or from me bashing it off things, probably more likely me bashing it off things. But the actual fit and finish of the unit has stayed really, really, really good. It's never let in water, it's never given me trouble, it's never crashed out in the middle of a storm, etc. And even the uh, aerial, which is just on a small spring, uh, I don't know, can you see that there, is actually still really, really good. And that mechanism still works perfectly. So all in all, 10 out of 10 on durability for the unit really 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 good like even the buttons everything else still works perfectly no complaints whatsoever overall 10 out of 10 for the durability on the unit absolutely nothing has has even worn a little bit over the time that i've had it so mounting to the helmet i'm going to show you now in a second but overall pretty easy and uh, nothing nothing major there at all so as you can see this is the actual section that mounts to the helmet i used the push to fit one um, just because i thought it was a little bit easier to use it this way. Uh, the actual unit then itself, just that piece there, slides onto that and clicks home and that's it. Actually fitting the sec the pieces to your helmet, um, pretty easy as well, just pull out the helmet. It does depend on your helmet and I'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But overall the mounting, you get a sticky 3M and you also get this slide push to fit one. I use the push to fit one just because I didn't want to stick 3M to the helmet if I didn't need to and I wasn't sure I was going to keep this helmet at the time. 
um, but both options are very good. The only thing I will say about when you're mounting it to your helmet is to be careful on the helmet type you have and make sure you have those inset um, kind of holes for the speakers because the speakers are quite large and can put pressure on your ears and um, so if you're someone who doesn't like that or if you feel that your 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 inset pieces aren't deep enough um it could cause some discomfort so that is one thing to keep in mind uh when you're fitting the speakers to your helmet so sound quality um is absolutely excellent and as, as i said i have the non-jbl version of the cheaper speakers the original speakers jbl i think were fitted from 2019 on so really, really good there. Absolutely no complaints. Call audio is excellent. Comms audio is excellent. Sometimes can be a bit quieter, but I think the JBL speakers actually fixed that. Uh, when you're going fast, obviously wind noise can sometimes take over a little bit. The big thing for me is the auto volume adjust is really good on this unit. So when you're out on the road, um, and obviously you speed up or slow down, it does actually auto adjust the volume for you to compensate for wind noise a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good and does help um, rather than deafen you when you slow down, it does adjust it down so that you don't blow your eardrums. One extra feature I want to talk about is the voice commands on the unit. So they're not configurable, they come preset uh, from wherever you buy it, I suppose, from factory. But what they have is, for instance, like Hey Cardo, Music On, etc., etc., stuff like that. Um, there's a couple of options there. I'll throw them up on screen now. All of them work. I've tested all of them except the Hey Siri one because I don't have an iPhone. Um, but even the, the, the Hey Cardo battery status is one of my favorite because you can just check it on the fly and see where you're sitting on the road. The one thing I will say is the voice commands are not perfect. Sometimes you have to repeat them, but really all in all, I think that's something that I'm personally prepared to deal with. Um, you know, especially because my accent probably isn't perfect for the unit itself. Now the price, the sticking point. Currently where the price sits is for a single unit, and this is on uh, AMI, um, so Adventure Motorcycle Ireland, I think they are. Um, they seem to be one of the best prices I could find in Ireland. It was about 294 for a single unit, that is with the JBL, and 522 euro for the double pack. So if you're buying one, I would highly recommend getting the double pack. The JBL speaker does add a little bit of price, but to be honest, if I had the option to go back and spend 200, or if I bought the double pack, 260 for the JBLs, I'd probably go the JBLs. I think, last I checked, they're about 70 euro um, for the JBLs on their own, and I think it would be worth it just to fix the small issues with the sound that I said at high speeds. Sometimes it can fade out. So it's not a cheap unit, but to be honest, from everything that I've seen and been through with it, it was well worth the money. It's absolutely nailed on. Uh, it's never given me a fault. And obviously just durability wise, this thing is as claimed, it's waterproof as hell. I have brought this through the wettest of Irish days and also stands up to cold exceptionally well. Um, for what it is, electronics generally don't like being out in three degrees and rain, but no problem to this thing. Never gave me an ounce of trouble. Ooh! Now, for the on-road portion of the review for the Cardo Pack Talk Bold, the non-JBL speakers. Say, if, for instance, you want to try pair up to someone or something else, you can just pop up the antenna pretty easily. It's it's push in and it just flicks up itself. So it is, it is very easy once you get used to it because you, you're not trying to unlatch it and it's literally just a push. And then to close it, uh, the same thing. I just want to see what's going on up here before I do anything now. Same thing. So all you do is close it down and it, it locks itself into place. The buttons are where on the road it gets that little bit not so good. Um, obviously the winder wheel for the volume here is good. And answering, answering phone calls and hanging up on phone calls if you're not using the voice commands that I went through earlier, uh, they're pretty easy because you just kind of mash any button to answer and mash any button to hang up. And the, the issues arise if you're trying to... On, what I use this for most of the time on the road, and being honest, is listening to music and also being available on my phone uh, if people are looking for me. So what you need to be able to do there is, <clears throat> excuse me, to turn it, turn it on and off. Now to turn it on, it, it is easy right now because it's that front button there. Oh, cool. Okay. 
<laughs> so that's how you turn it on just hold the front button and um, on it switches it will say something to you that I can never fully untangle what the lady is saying on the car though but it's something like hello and pair to phone number one right that's it on and then you can start using your voice commands such as hey cardo music on she's heard me she's going to try start music if you don't have a default yep, she started it hey cardo music off hey cardo music off and it's pretty responsive it's pretty good um i, I honestly have no complaints about the voice commands no complaints about the uh, music quality even with the standard uh, earbuds on it it's where it gets troublesome and most of the buttons you won't have to use when you're on the road like you're pairing and all you'll do you'll do first up and if you're swapping modes obviously you have the mode swap earlier but honestly i would learn the voice commands like the one i use is music on music off those are the voice commands i use so that's what i've kind of um, memorized from from that point of view but the only time it does get a bit awkward is in winter if you're wearing winter gloves these are fine but in winter gloves um, the buttons the small buttons on the, the pack talk unit are very hard to feel they, they do have a kind of a raised sharp edge like i went through earlier um, but they are they're very hard to feel they're not that tactile i think is the correct term um, they're that they're that little bit harder to, to actually catch hold of so you know it, it, with thicker winter gloves on if you live somewhere uh, where you go through winters not so good not so good really most of the time doggos those are cute dogs let's pull in here by this golf club because it's nice and it's open and these people probably hate me because i'm on a bike and they're posh golfers not that all golfers are posh just most of them what's the kind of the final verdict on on those buttons and um, i would like them bigger uh, or like have a have a higher higher raised edge so you can actually feel them because I don't know can you see how small they are but I'm not even sure that's a button and I think that's a button and I know that's the front button because I use it the most but they're not great um, just because they're so hard to actually feel where they are I've used it in all weather conditions um, so I can verify that it is waterproof it's if it's not waterproof the only time it's gonna it's gonna drown on you if you come off a pier into a large body of water and sink a lot at which point you probably have other things to be worrying about than the waterproofing on your cardo pack talk unit if i had to be forced to give it an out of 10 probably 8 out of 10 i don't think it's the prettiest um and battery life could probably be a bit better for how bulky it is like the battery life is good like i said but it's just not it, if you're playing music all the time um you don't get as long out of it as you might think um connections the mesh connection works beautifully the bluetooth connection works beautifully with even cheaper units um i've, I've used it with a couple of people who had even you know like chinese units and it worked worked perfectly so absolutely no cannot fault the connection on it which is the main thing what people get it for realistically sound is good um and then that last piece about the buttons, the, the, the audio button um, and the click on the audio button and the wheel is very good. But those smaller buttons, which maybe are only supposed to be used by the side of the road, are just not. Uh, voice commands are excellent. So, yeah, I think for me, um, would I buy one again? Absolutely. So that should hopefully give you a good indication of how good this is. What would I like to see from the unit going forward? Uh, custom colors would be nice uh, just to... You know add your own little flair to it because i'm weird and also custom voice commands would be nice as well if you could just add um you know call x amount of people or whatever else like that uh, that would be nice going forward it does have a redial function it has all those functions that you know you'll be able to see in the app and um, so there are a lot of stuff like that there but yeah the custom voice commands would be cool and um, going forward so overall my recommendation if you're looking for a comms unit and you have a little bit of money to spend Highly recommend the Cardo Pack Top Bold, especially with the JBL speakers. Like I said, I haven't tried them myself, but I have heard a lot of very good things about those JBL speakers. If you watched this review, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it or found it helpful, then please leave a like on the video and maybe subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I do appreciate it. It does help me out. And uh, yeah, 
let me know in the comments if you you know were swayed by this video if it helped you decide whether to get a pack talk or not yeah so that's it thanks very much for watching adios wow all people who play golf have new cars like really new cars what do you think outro crew if i take up golf will i suddenly become extremely wealthy and be able to buy that indian chieftain that i've always wanted to buy let me know in the comments and as always Thank you very much for watching this far, if you're still here. It is very much appreciated. And until next time, goodbye. I'm going crazy rolling, I'm going to die, I'm going to die, and I didn't die. Yes! <laughs>